come back with the one and only pew pew person. <laughs> it looks so dead inside. We're gonna go watch the My Little Pony movie. And then we got, um, don't worry, I'm not, I'm not recording your face. Oh, uh, this is the man, the myth, the legend. He's the been unknown, in the mysterious legend. He's been in the Mario Kart videos. Yeah. He's been in the Pokemon Go versus Sea World videos. It's the man. And then you got me, Black Man. Small black shadow. So small black man. We're gonna go watch the My Little Pony movie. Yeah. 1080p, 60 FPS. It better have a good frame rate or else I'm returning. Yeah. Boom, there we go. I'm so juvenile. Let's go. I'll get all the views. Excuse me? Did you just call me a Jewish black man? No. Yeah, you did. You called me a Jewish black man. <laughs> Let's go. Yo, y'all ready? Yeah. What, are your, what are your expectations for this movie? Uh, I, I mean, I can't judge it by its color, so you know what? Let's just see how it goes. What do you think? Yo, I think it's gonna be a 10 out of 10 IGN. Uh, it's yeah. gonna have great visuals. I'm so excited. Oh, oh yeah, you're right, you're right. Yeah, you're right. Oh my man, it's your boy Super Ouija Bros, and today we're back with another legit movie review. Uh, so, would y'all like to introduce yourselves? <coughs> Can you stop with that? No. You're making me. More, you're making me. Who are you, Frick? Um. <laughs> <laughs> introduce yourself. That's gonna be my, in, I'm that's gonna be in the behind the scenes. Steven. Introduce yourself, please. No. Please. I don't want to. We got your boy Pew Pew Person Stop. back again. I'm going to put the intro in there as well. Who was it? We got Pew Pew Person Pee -pee over person? here. Pew Pew Person? Pew Pew. I don't want oh, to be called that. Alright, okay. Pew Pew Person slash Wonderful Detonator. You can just find him on. Don't call me Slash. Slash Wonderful <laughs> Detonator. Slash. Just Wonderful <laughs> Detonator. <laughs> I'm mad. You can find him on Twitter. And we got, um. The Mysterious. Friend. Yeah, we got the man from the Mario Kart videos and the Pokemon Go video. Stop showing me memes during videos. <laughs> Should we just restart it? This no, no. This Snow? Is, this is high quality stuff, all right? Are you sure? And then... You shut up, all right? Just and restart it. No. This is oh, just an episode. <laughs> we have to restart. No, we won't. Let's edit it. No! Nah, <laughs> let's just... Come on, let's keep going. All right, so we we, uh, we we went to go see the My Little Pony movie today. Uh, the opening weekend. So opening good. weekend. So... Let me give you a little backstory on this. So after the Emoji movie, me and a uh, wonderful detonator over here, we went to go to the La Brea Tar Pits, and uh, after we just messed around there. I still have the files for that. I haven't really made a video out of that. But we did, and then we were coming back, and we were like, oh wait, there's a My Little Pony movie. This is when they, all the trailers dropped and all that. So I jokingly said, hey, I, we should go watch that. And he was like, oh yeah, sure. I did not say that. <laughs> I did not say, okay, sure. I kind of forgot you guys. I here. wanted you, if you could get anyone else to go, I would go. That was the deal. We only got the other guy. And he didn't even know it was the My Little Pony movie. Yeah, I forgot. I did not know that we were going to watch the My Little Pony. I thought it was going to be something good. But it. He's like, we're going to watch it. I I'm thought, like, yo. I thought, like, maybe it. Maybe we're, it. Going, we're going to the movie. What are we going to watch? I'm like, when Drago, it. I don't know. Mountain b between us, we're gonna freak that up. No, we're gonna watch the My Little Pony movie. That's what we're gonna watch. We're gonna go, we're gonna go in there to the cinema. We're gonna get our little popcorn. We're gonna get it, sit in there. And maybe listen to kids watch. telling their mama, saying, Hey, mommy, I wanna watch it. No, honey. But yeah, we, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we did hear that. People yeah. were like, I wanna go watch it. It was like, really? And then after the movie, we went to go mess around. We went to GameStop. We actually tried out the new Super Mario Odyssey demo over there. We played around Me Super Mario Odyssey. Odyssey. Um, we went around. We played the little Mexican land. But enough about that. It's about My Little Pony. So we get in there and we're waiting for the preview to start. We see some like fur the ad for Ferdinand the Bull. I thought you were gonna say furry. <laughs> we saw an ad for some furry. <laughs> Ferdinand the Bull, the voiced by John Cena. Anyway, yeah. and then we saw and we saw this one colorful little animation, which 
I forgot the name of, but it, it had was some, all right. It had some kids. It had one kid and these little bunny creatures. Uh -huh. on they were going down a, on a the rainbow moon. slide. They were on the moon. Yeah, rainbow, rainbow slide or something. And there was Cthulhu. There was a chaos emerald. And then we we sit down in our seats, right? We get uh -huh. there. So now, these two guys. One one of them brothers. was named Sean. And another guy. I don't know. This is Fred. Sean I think him, I think his name was Nathan. Yeah, them. They're Nathan bad. and Sean. Apparently yeah. they're bronies, I guess. Ultra bronies. Yeah, they know everything. And they, they sat there and they entertained us throughout the entire movie. And we entertained ourselves as usual. But yeah, they sat there and they, they gave us a little insight. And uh, honestly, I have a lot... <laughs> insight? Uh, yeah. Insight. I have a lot more respect for the series now because of them, I guess. I don't. Eh. Not, not, not for the series because of them, right? Yeah, alright. Anyway, let's get, let's get started with the movie, right? Before we Alright, so anyway, mm -hmm. we... <laughs> The movie starts, and and then it all starts off. Stop! With stop! 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 This movie. This what is? What's the movie? What is, what's the yeah. movie? Well, it starts off. They're going to a party. They're making a party. Nah, it has a title drop. It's like oh. My Little Pony. The movie. The, the the movie. The movie. It's like My Little Pony. The movie. And they start off with the song in what the first five minutes. Yeah. It's like there's a bunch of ponies everywhere, and then and I think one of the ponies is like, "Oh yeah, they wanna... Twilight Sparkle. She's a pr she she can take care of anything." And then what do you know? She they, can't. They cut to her <laughs> um, freaking out, mm -hmm. which is classic movie style. Is you just describe a character and then completely do the opposite for that character. Whoa, Sonic's so cool to him. <laughs> and then you Sonic cut, having cut. a mental breakdown. <laughs> yeah. Nah, you cut. Yeah. And it's like, no, Sonic's such a cool, caring hero, and you see, cut to him, he's like, he's being a douchebag to tables. Anyway, so we, we cut to them, and Twilight Sparkle and Spike, they're talking about wanting to set up for the, the festival, friendship festival, whatever the freak it is. And, and then, see ya. We're not there yet. Oh, no, but... Wait, yeah, see ya. Wait, Sia no, we're was, not. They were setting up for Sia to come. Yeah, Sia voices the What was pony. her name? Songbird something? Songbird the Pony, there we go. That's not Wait for movie. her grand debut in Sonic Forces coming, releasing November 7th for the PS4, Xbox One, and Nintendo Switch, and PC. Anyway. That was a so, long list of titles, but that's yep. beside the point. That's beside the point. So anyway, Twilight Sparkle, the pony, wait for grand debut. Uh, anyway, so Twilight Sparkle goes to the other princesses. I forget what they are. There's whatever I know them, but I'm not obliged to. Come on! Um... Uh, Oi, when I say no name drops, now I gotta bleep that out with nothing. You both name drop me! Yeah. I'll bleep it out, frick. Rude child. Come Quite on, pew pew per person, <laughs> whatever it is. <laughs> Alright, come on, All come right, on! <laughs> Alright, so. Come on, pew pew some facts. Yeah, there's, there's, um, uh, Princess Celestia. And, and, um. <laughs> what was that noise? <laughs> come on, keep Just going. disappointment? Keep going. <laughs> Uh, night. What was it? Nightmare, Nightmare Moon. Nightmare Moon. Yeah. I yeah. think so. And then, no, no, Luna. Oh, Princess Luna. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I don't know the last one. Well, it's gay. It's like, <laughs> that's her character. <laughs> it's, it's, she's gay. That's the whole point. All right. So yeah, they, you know a lot about the fandom than I do. Yeah. Which is <laughs> odd. How, how do you how do you know about this fandom? When I was I I don't remember how old, but at a certain age. I had a friend that was into My Little Pony, and I just decided to watch them, and I got into the series for a good two years of my life, I believe. And I'm, I'm not proud of it. I'm not, but here I am today, naming po naming ponies. Yeah, it's like me and the Sonic fan base, dude. Some guy was talking about Sonic, and he's like, Sonic's better than Mario. I'm like, nah, dude. I saw Sonic in Brawl. I'm like, yo, this man looks cool. I started following Sonic. You're really good at tangents. I'm really good at go I'm really good at going off from the point. All right, let's go. Uh, so anyway, they start talking to the ponies about making the the best day ever with their powers, and then it's like, yeah. oh, we can't do that because that's that's no good. And then it's like, okay, that's fine. So. And then the main crew show up. We got Applejack. We got Rainbow Dash. We got Pinkie Pie. We got <laughs> Fluttershy. <laughs> that's we got her name. Is <laughs> <laughs> we got Rarity uh, and the Nash. Twilight. Got Twilight Sparkle. Uh, Twilight Sparkle. Shut up. We got, we got Twilight Sparkle. And then they, they have a... They, there's, there's some slapstick. Oh, it's not, it's just they have... Happy banter. They have funny. They, they have, yeah, they have funny. And then, so... They have song. Main villain comes out. No, they, they have song. They have the song. No, they have a song. Then like, the main villain comes. Yeah, no, it's, the main villain comes in the Mario S. I think it's like a three-minute song. 
Yep. Yeah, oh, there, oh. One, there's a lot of Sonic games. They come down. In this build. game? Yes, My Little Pony, the movie, the game runs at consistent 1080p frame. 1080 60 p. frames per second. <laughs> it runs at <laughs> 60 frames per second. Art was good. Did not see any frame, drop, frame drops. Uh, yeah. Anyway, so the villains come down, and it's like this guy, whatever, whatever the fuck he is, he comes down. And then there's this pony that comes down, and she has her name is Tempest. Tempest. Yeah. And she comes down. She has no horn, even though she's a unicorn, but she has no horn. It's, it's like broken. broken. Yeah, and she has a scar on her eye. Yeah. That's always been. The good. reason we find out later. Oh we yeah. Out the truth. But anyway, um, so she comes up and she's like, "Oh, I'm working for the Storm King, baby." And she's like, "Oh, I want you all to surrender." And this give is me also your the introduction of the best character in the movie, Yo, Rubber. Rubber, my man. You Rubber is. Rubber he's be, the best character. He'd be cracking jokes left and right. He's like Danny what. DeVito, except he's like a younger Danny DeVito. No. <laughs> anyway, um, so he, he talks. To he's Grubber. They start talking. Yeah. Grubber, Grubber and Tempest. Tempest. They start like, "Oh, you gotta give your magic to the Storm King." Oh no. So you gotta give your match to the Storm King and all that, and they're like, uh uh, no. And then they're like, oh, well, we're gonna have to do this the hard way. And then they just. princesses into statues. Stone. They're stone, Luigi. You didn't make it. You didn't make it. And then they just start messing around. And then they they turn to stone. And then the ponies, they. The main six get away. They get away. And the dragon boy. Dragon boy. They They go away. And then. I smoke the Storm King comes up, he's like a monkey demon thing, whatever the frick he is. And then he's like, wait a minute, but I need all four princesses in order to make my staff a, a staff. He calls it a stick, because he doesn't know what it is. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's a twig. Yeah, he's like, I need all four ponies to make my twig. The master twig. <laughs> and, then, and then he's like, yo, if you don't, he's like, oh, I can make your horn a horn again. But... You better give me those princesses or else I'm gonna kill you. And he's like, oh, okay, that's good. And But the Storm King is he's, he's a good character. I like the Storm King. He is. Not and a good villain, but he's a good character. Mm -hmm. And then the ponies, they go away and it's like, oh, we gotta save Equestria. And then they go. And then they go to World 2. And then they go to like the desert land. The Badlands. Like, yeah, they go to Badlands. It's like World 2. And then they're like, oh, it's so hot. And then they go to World 2. And then they're like, oh, wait, when there's a road, there's a city. And then they find a city full of these guys. It's like, oh wait, you want you want to tell me something? You got a trick, whatever. Basically, they find this cat man, and the cat. He's an evil guy. Yeah, he's an evil guy. The cat he turns on them and tries to sell them to a child slaver. That's not actually what he is. He's, he's, just, he's just emerging. He's like, oh, he's like a mole like, rat. Yeah, he's like, oh yeah, you give me those ponies, man. I'll sell them for you for a profit. And they're like, wait a minute, you're not supposed to do that at all. And then they um, they bail. They bail. They just bail. And then. Because the villains follow them and they run away. They run away and they go on an airship. They go on a parrot ship. Yeah, and they go on an airship. Oh. You want to talk as well? Oh. You want to play the plot? And while they're running, they uh, were on the windmill. Oh, yeah, they, they go on a windmill and, and, and they break the it off. And, and then it's like, oh, it's a And it turns into a 3D kind of thing. Oh, yeah, like, it's funny, like, the movie's 2D animated. Yeah. But some, ob some objects are 3D, which isn't, it, it's actually common sort of style but anyway um then tempest they find she finds the cat and it's like oh where did they go and the cat's like well they went to the east because apparently the ponies they helped out the cat man and he thinks oh yeah they're good they're good ponies now he's so, just a compulsive liar yeah he has to lie constantly to feel good yeah so since he feels guilty about riding out the ponies he's like oh yeah they went to the east and so the uh Ponies, they end up on this airship, and then it's like, oh wait, there are parents on these airships, and they like, they find them, and it's like, oh wait, they're stowaways, and it's like, and they work for the Storm King, and it's like, you know, we do the stowaways, we throw them off the plank, and then the dinner bell rings, like, oh, lunchtime, and then they have lunch, and then lunch takes over priority over everything, because he only gives them one break, and then they have another song, but there's another song before that, there's a lot of songs, we'll just, whenever many there's, songs, yeah, whenever there's a song, we'll just skip, skip over it. So basically, let me just rapid fire through this plot. So they go and then Rainbow Dash sings to them, oh, you gotta, gotta go back and be pirates. And the funny part is that the pirate birds are actually parrots, so it's like, oh, look at their parrots and their pirates. So anyway, they go and then Rainbow Dash decides to screw around and make a sonic rain boom, whatever the frick that is. And then they do that and then they, uh... The bad guys see it. And it's like, oh, wait Rainbow a minute! I, is that, that's a rainbow? 
in, a, in the dark sky, suspicious. And then they go and then they, they, they find them and it's like, oh wait, I know who you are. It's like, if you don't tell me where the ponies are, we're gonna kill you, I guess. And then they kill them. But yeah, they blew up the ship. The flying boat shaped ship. And I then mean, they all survive, but it's fine. Yeah. And then the ponies, they fall down, they make a hot air balloon, they go down. They go to this next island, which they're supposed to get the queen's help of some island. They're like Pegasus. Griffins. They're like eagle ponies. They're griffins. They literally, pon- in the movie, they call them griffins. They're eagle ponies. Anyway, uh, they go and it's like, wait, the eagle ponies turn themselves into mer ponies, so they go down. Because that makes sense. Yeah, because fish birds ponies. definitely turn into into fish. Fish ponies. Just ask the Zora. Yeah, ask the Zora people. Dude. Ask the cheap cheeps. They turn into see- birds. Ask the cheap cheeps and Sonic like the Hedgehog DX. <laughs> anyway, so they go down and they have the little stinging segment, and then they find this pearl that makes them into fish. Fish ponies. And then Twilight tries to steal the pearl that turns them into fish ponies because it can help them. And the fish but it's ponies. like, wait a minute! You tried to steal. You didn't want my help. You just wanted to steal from me. And then they get cat, and then they get thrown out, and they get turned back into regular ponies. And then they um, get into a little argument. They get li- into a little argument, which can basically be summed up as uh, the arguing section from Freedom Planet. If yeah, if you don't, if you if our plot summaries to. Uh, too confusing for you just just go watch the freedom planet cutscenes they're shorter and they make more sense yeah so anyway after that they go they go mess around what are you doing Nothing. so after that they go mess around and they have a little get, get into a little argument and they go separate and then twilight gets captured and then by, by tempest. tempest herself and then they he have has, a tempest song which is like one of the best songs in the movie and then they have the four ponies they had got that four prince four. They got the four princesses, oh, all right. and the captain is like, "All right, guys, we use the staff, and now we can use the staff to conjure up all their magic into the staff." Mm. And then we got he the has staff. fun with the staff. He has and fun with the like, staff. Here's the staff, and they get the staff, and it's like magic now. And then staff, and then you get the tenth storm king comes in. He's like, "Ooh, stick!" And then he takes the stick and he starts messing with the night and day system uh-huh. of Ocarina of Time, so and he starts s- laughing and stuff. While he's having so okay. fun with the magic and stuff, he's, so, he's, he loves his stick. All of yeah. our people that we've met in the story so far, so we've got the pirates, cat guy, and then like the fish pony horse thing, and then the main, go the main guys all team up and then they go and save her. They go and save her and all that, and then uh, he he he, try, he tries to turn. <laughs> ten- epic lay epic fight scene. Lay epic fight scene happens, and then there's a part where. Tempest is like, oh wait, you're supposed to give me my horn back now. And but he Storm, was just joking. And Storm King's like, boy! Um, just I a u- social experiment, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's a social experiment. I used you. <laughs> it's a prank, bro. It's a and prank, bro. He's like, I used you, Sonic. And then he, um, he's like, I'm not giving you a horn back. Uh, ha. Take a Whoa. joke, pal. Yeah, get Shrek. And then he, uh, he, th- he tries to turn her into stone. He tries to turn all of them into stone. But then, like, he, he hits Tempest. But then, and then Tempest hits him. Tempest hits him, turning him into stone because the gas he, is still there. And he's like, "Whoa!" And then, and then he, he turns this down. He, he falls the all the way back down, and then he shatters and into dies. pieces. Whoa. They kill a villain. And they then kill they use the stick. Except I don't think he's actually dead. I think he's Tempest. Just he's, al- he's alive in the credits, whatever. Yeah. Something and then he wild. dies, and then they're like, "Oh, that's the true power of friendship." And, and then like, everyone is fixed because they have the stick. That's true power of friendship. And then they then they fix everything for because they have the stick. And they put the stick back in the glory hole, and it's like, and it's a re- giant reset button, and everything is fine. And, and then Sia does her little dance number as Sia Pony, wait for a grand debut it. in Sonic Forces. And then that's it. Roll credits. Oh no, wait! We forgot the most important part. That Tempest. Her Tempest has a real name. Oh, yeah, Tempest is like her magic is to create. What, what's her name? Her do special you, perk. Do you guys remember? Because I remember. Fizzle, fizzle, fizzy cherry. No, fi- sparkle. It's it's. Fizzle. It's like fizzle something berry twist. Fizzle pop. Fizzle, fizzle, fizzle pop berry twist. Oh, fizzle let's pop go, berry man. twist. I love me some new airheads. And then uh Then th- Pinkie uh, Pie gets excited. Hype. Cause she has a funny she has a funny name. Le funny name. Le funny <laughs> name. <laughs> Yo, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cringe combat well, you people. Yeah, I reckon man. that's that for the plot. I reckon that's that for the plot, man. Now we gotta talk about the visuals. They ran a, it was a nice H D 1080p visuals ran a smooth silky 60 frame FPS. They're not seeing any ep- not seeing any frame drops, no lag. Uh, and um, what do you guys think about the visuals in this film? They were all right, except for those parts where they put 2D in the 3D segment. 
So it just yeah, Sug, so like you should really get on that. Um, I don't want any 2D in my 3D in Sonic Forces. Go on. That, oh, I do believe I believe it's now your turn, mysterious friend. All right, thank you, pew pew person. Um, anyways, uh, He's I um. I have, I don't really think it was necessary for uh, my little pony movie since it are talking about the visuals. Oh. Yeah. The visuals 2D, 3D. How did it look, my guy? I it looked fine. I mean, it was just great. The 2D and the 3D, the visuals overall, they just looked great. All right, guys, what about the soundtrack and the overabundance of songs? Like every major point that they go to is just like another song and it's just like oh look another song and it's like oh, uh, another there's, song there's a lot of song songs. after song after song after song there's so many songs it's there's, just yeah, not even funny song. but the like, best part about the songs is that once you hear one you get used to it and then you just kind of ignore them the rest of the movie like after after the, after the first song it, after the first song it gets better yeah the first song is terrible <laughs> Uh, you, you cringe at the first song. That's probably because like you, you cringe at there. the pirate song because they say awesome like forty times. Yeah, yeah. There's, there's, there's like, like there's the worst times. word to yeah. use for a song. There's two songs that aren't really that good, but then all the rest. Of s <clears throat> no, there's three songs that I didn't like, but all the rest of the songs are good. Which one is your favorite? Uh, probably the Tempest part. Tempest has. Yeah, the Tempest number. has the best song. Yeah, Tempest. I would have to go for Tempest. Cause it doesn't sound like the rest of the movie. <laughs> yeah. Good. And then like. The Catman. Catman has the second best song. We don't even it's remember not, his it, name. Yeah, <laughs> not, what was his name? I don't uh, know. His name was Catboy. Pull it up. Kitty Kitty. His, his name was Papyrus. <laughs> his name's Cuphead. Luigi. Luigi. You have Terminal 7. <laughs> Terminal 7. Pony <laughs> Cancer. Anyway, let's talk about some boots. You're a pony, Luigi. You're a pony, Luigi. Nay. Nay, stop! Uh, wait, who, who was... Um, Alright, we gotta see... Are you seriously Googling this? What? You're not just gonna, like, find it in post? Oh, his name's Capper. Capper. Capper? Catman is Capper. Okay. Get it? Like, oh. it's a cat purr. Oh. You stop with that right now! Oh, anyway. Stand by. <laughs> Why stand by? It's a freaking okay, banter. Anyway. All right. So standing by. Oh, stop. Ooh. Right now. Whatever. So anyway, let's talk about... What's wrong with your phone? I don't know. It's phoning. A friend. I don't know. Anyway, so okay, let's talk. Okay, after that, let's talk about just the pace, pacing of the movie. I say it was all right. Pacing. The okay, it's very odd because it seemed to like really be. F it had a fast plot, unless it was singing, and then the plot just kind of crawled, and like it just kind of stopped. The pl okay, the plot is basically like they go here now, they go here now, they're here, they're there. It's it's the Freedom Planet plot. There, there. But the second time I'm comparing a movie to a video game, frick. Anyway, but it's the like the exact same video game. You've compared it to Freedom Planet already. I meant like the Emoji Movie review. I compared it to Sonic 06 and Wreck and Wreck It Ralph. <laughs> Wreck It Ralph wasn't a video game though. It is now. <laughs> For okay. DS and 3D. Okay, but so now, now characters, I guess. Characters. Oh God, Are we gotta talk about. I don't want to talk about ponies. We worst character was Applejack. Yeah, there are some characters that are there just because, like, oh yeah, they're part of the main pony four. I mean, pony six. Yeah, they're part of the main six. And it's like, oh look, it's ponies. The it's deadly like six. The de <laughs> deadly. Now I gotta Photoshop all of them on the deadly six. <laughs> all uh, right. Yeah, no, yeah, it's like, oh yeah, look, it's the Deadly Six. The, the, the Deadly Six. Only three of them got screen time, which were Rainbow Dash, Pinkie Pie, and Twilight, and Sparkle. Twilight Sparkle. Those were the only Fluttershy, ones Fluttershy, that... it might be just used for a freaking cameo at this point, because she has, like, The other no three were just completely worthless in this movie. Applejack has nothing. She just... Spike just did there. more than the other three. Spike, yeah, he's, yeah, he's just there. And, the, yeah, and then we got, um, Storm King, best, best, best character. Best character, Grubber. <laughs> Close second. Uh, Capper, he's a... Cap, no. He's a guy. He's really weird. I disagree with that. I like Tempest more than Capper. No, I, I'm talking about Capper as a character. He's really weird. I don't like Capper as a character, honestly. He's really weird. Capper is just... Capper... He's he, I feel like he didn't fit with the rest of the movie. Like, I like, mean, 
Cap his whole concept just didn't look like it would fit. It looked like it was part of like a video game. A oh, puss in boots. <laughs> yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> when he, that's what you <laughs> called him the first time he's on screen. Like, shit, when he appeared out, I'm like, I was pretty, I'm like, it's puss in boots. <laughs> and then, puss in boots. I'm like, it's like, whenever they show off a character, like, or maybe his cousin. Like, wait a minute, it's gonna be there. And then he's like, oh, look, it's puss in boots. And then, yeah. What if that and was puss in boots? I believe, I believe that sums up. Wait, the was he wearing boots? Oh, wait, no, wait, there was. Oh, is there one more? Uh, there's these, all oh, the eagle ponies that are water ponies. Yeah, the griffins. They're pretty weak. Yeah, it's 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 weird. They're just I like, guess. oh, we're here now. Oh, we're gone. Well, Wait, we're, we're back. I guess we're po I guess we're horses. I guess we're yeah. I guess we're horses now. I we're believe here. I called them seahorses. Billy Bob, Billy Bob, that's your dad. Gonna go back air. I tell you what. Billy back Joel. air. Yeah, Billy Joel. But anyway, uh, <sighs> plot. We gotta think of the plot. It was all right. It wasn't too like. Awkward. It wasn't like. Bad. It wasn't that crazy. There's no contradiction to the plot, actually. No. Like it, it, it surprisingly follows up what it, what it wants to very well. Unlike the Emoji movie, where it goes against itself a lot and doesn't really make sense. This movie makes sense, right. but that's kind of big because it's kind of marketed as it kind of is like a kids, kids movie. movie. So you can't really. I mean, for a kids movie, I think they. I don't know. They they know. That it's a pony movie. They're aware they it's kids friendly. Yeah, and they and they and they go with that. And there's the, there's a lot of pop culture references for no reason. Yeah, like um, The Shining, the Wizard Shining. of Oz. Um, they do some other ones that. Oh, I, there were some other ones I can't really remember. They have Sia as a pony. I don't understand. I see you with that camera, mother. Hello, mother. That's what right. right? right. But. You stop screaming to my mic right now, alright? No, I did that once. Alright, right, what else? What else? We do? Uh, I, uh, I think that's all. Yeah, I don't, you don't have any ideas. It's voice acting. What about it? How good was it? Uh, it was alright. Okay, I mean, I didn't think there was any problems with it. Except nothing. No. Yeah, I mean, voice yeah, cracks that didn't seem like they were on purpose. I didn't. I didn't hear any voice cracks. No. Was yeah. there any one that you think didn't fit the role? Cat. Cat. <laughs> the cat. cat what, what voice would you do? You want him to have Will Smith. <laughs> you I want think Will Smith to be Capper, in a My Little Pony movie. <laughs> if Capper was played by Will Smith, I would have liked that character a lot more. Wow. Are you kidding? Really? No. Who's the I'm actual being... voice of the cat? I don't remember, but I don't care. No, not now. I have to find it. Cause he had like a smooth jazz voice that didn't fit the rest of the movie. Tay Diggs is Capper. Who? No one knows Tay who Diggs. that is. No, I don't know who that is. The only noticeable actors is like Sia. Yeah. That's <laughs> Sia. That's all. As the um audience. horse with no eyes. No, it's edgy horse. She has bangs covered. She eyes. has no eyes. Edgy horse. I guess. Edgy horse, there we go. Shh. Better quiet down a little bit. Bada bing. <laughs> Bada Luigi. Calzone. Bada Luigi. Sniggy. And then but, okay, um, let's let's, uh, let's talk okay, let's talk about our Thoughts about the movie in general. We we stayed to the end, end the credits actually, and what do we get for it? Uh, one a two half second a, image. Half a second image of Princess Celestia no, in front no. of the sun. No, it was a, it was an animation. Half, like a couple, yeah. couple seconds of animation. For the, for it was first. a gif or it's gif. <laughs> it was a gif. It's a gif. That's all it was. Yeah, that's all it was. And we said that till the end. And those those brony guys next to us, they had they had a blast. Tell you what. Yep, they were like, oh, it's a great movie. They did good. And I'm just sitting here like, all right. Yeah, I mean, for movies, they were like, they actually liked it. Like, they thought, they actually thought it was a good flop. They had low expectations. And they, and they liked it, which was good for them. It was good for them, yeah. I um, had low expectations, and I was impressed. Same here. I, when they, when they start off in the beginning, I'm like, ooh. No, wait, they start off with the, uh, what's, what's the opening song they start off with? Uh, it's, it's, it's something bad. No, it was these ponies got it. Was, it's they. Oh, we got the beat. Yeah, it's that one. It's starting to be the beat. But they but, rewritten the lyrics. Yeah, they rewritten half the So like they got the beat. They got. Yep, the, yep. And I don't like the singer. I don't know who it is, but I just don't the, like the it. The first song is the worst. The first song is the worst. And, yeah, but okay. How okay, how do you say that go, jokes are handled in this movie? I think the humor is pretty good. They don't. They don't use fart jokes, from what I saw. Oh yeah, yeah. There's no burping. There, yeah. There's no like. 
there's no gross out humor, really. I mean, I mean, I guess it's directed at little girls, which don't really appreciate gross out humor. But I mean, for a movie that yeah, it's definitely for a kids movie, it didn't use gross out humor. It used, a lot. It used clever humor directed towards the character. It used joke. It used jokes, not just stupid. It had actual jokes that made me laugh. Yeah. Whether as the Emoji movie just had jokes that made me I, I laugh ironically. <laughs> you laugh at... Okay, the Emoji movie had jokes you laugh at because they're trying to make jokes. Mm -hmm. This movie, you laughed at the jokes because they were jokes. Mm -hmm. And... Yeah, you also had... You, yeah, I, yeah. I guess you could say that. And also be like, you could, um... Kind of, you can kind of make your own humor with movies. I guess that, that's some, some... Stop. That's something of a me thing that I do, but anyway. If you're with friends, it's fun. Yes, if you're with friends, it's funny. If you're, yeah, go watch a movie with friends. Go watch this movie with friends. Go watch friends. Go watch friends. <laughs> go, uh, go and... Okay. Uh, one thing, one good, one good thing after... Any, okay, any praise? I, I think it appeals to more people than just bronies and little girls. I think if even if you're not a fan of My Little Pony, you can appreciate this movie for what it is, which is a kid's movie. What about you? What about you? Do you have any praise? Mysterious friend. Uh, Mario Cartman. Any praise? I do. What? <laughs> you know what I did? Right. What is your praise? Go see the movie in theaters. Take a friend. Take anybody you know. Yeah. Uh, I guess mine would be like, yeah, you don't have to, um... For this movie, you don't, um, for a series that are going that all the people in the fandom praise as having the most deep and richest lore. Rick and Morty? <laughs> <laughs> I think you mean Sonic Forces. Anyway, uh, <laughs> for a franchise that people will claim to have, like, the rich lore, you don't really need to know any of the lore to, to, like, to just watch the movie in general. Like, I know nothing about My Little Pony except for, like, the characters, because, like, I don't know, they're so prominent, but it's just, like... You don't have to know anything about the characters in order to just know them and be like, okay, this is this is who's who, this is their personalities, and that's good. Yeah, you know? and like, they don't yeah. flat out tell you. Yeah, this is what the characters are supposed to be like. Yeah, it's, it's you shown. You just kind of gather it. Yeah, and that's good. And that's a good character. Element. Whether as the emoji would be, you start off, it's like, this is my personality. I'm Gene, and I'm a man emoji, and it's like, uh, 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 you're just telling me who you stop. are, and it's like this. It it it's it's show not tell which is good, and all yeah all the characters are like that you know they they're very fun they're very humorous and they're very, they're written very well I guess it's just that like this movie really didn't have any advertising so like okay it's, there was one trailer and it didn't show any of the movie I never saw a trailer at all the only, the only reason I know about this about this trailer is because of Twitter I was on Twitter and I saw people retweeting the trailer and I'm like. What? And I see it, I'm like, okay, this is a thing. And that's why I made, you know, let's go watch it. But it was, it got to the point where it was just like, there's no advertising for this movie at all. And it probably won't do well, to be honest. But I mean. Yeah, there's not high hopes. It's not gonna be like an instant. You know, block. It's a kid's movie. Not only a kid's And it's a little girl movie. Yeah, and I don't, th I don't think there's enough bronies in the movie to. Yeah, enough bronies probably. Them. Bronies don't have enough. They don't have jobs, so they can't get enough money <laughs> to that. see this movie. <laughs> you don't know that, dude. The furries can buy furs because they always have enough money to watch the movie, right? Yeah, well, Shut fine. up. All right. So I think that's conclusions. No, no. Okay, what, what you dislike about the movie? Um, the fact that it's my little pony. I think, I think that's it. I think if it wasn't My Little Pony, it was just like generic characters. What would you call it then? Uh, My Little Hedgehog starring Sonic the Hedgehog. Sonic Force is releasing this. I legit thought you were gonna start singing. It. That's lot. No, that's not even Lost World. That's that's Attack on Titan shifting that into was, something Lost World. That was Lost World. Yeah, sure. Uh, anyway, uh, dislikes. Um. Certain characters were really weak. Certain characters changed personalities partway through the movie for no reason other than to further the plot. Mm. Certain characters didn't fulfill like certain character roles, which I guess would be a good thing because it means you can't put anyone in a box. You were in a box. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's my criticism of the movie. And what do you have, Mark? Uh, my criticisms are just like mm, the song in the beginning. 
I kind of cringed at that beginning. <laughs> cringed at that beginning. Like, yeah. the, the movie gets better because you get you grow, you go tolerant to it. And you're just mm -hmm. like, okay, this is happening. This is a pony movie. You put that away right now. <laughs> but it's like... Uh, yeah, you grow, you grow more tolerant to it because it's like, it's a pony movie. You, like, you understand it and it's like, all right, this is good. This is a good movie. Uh, me, um, it's more or less just like... Yeah, the beginning is weak. Um, it could do without the songs. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of if songs. They, if they cut down on the songs, it would be more tolerable. Yeah, yeah. Like this. I think if they took out two of the songs, like that would be the the minimum needed. And like some songs, like there's, I think Pixar has this rule like you can use a coincidence to get characters into danger but not out of danger and they just use they, use, they use, sometimes use coincidence, coincidences to get them out of danger which is pretty bad i mean it's kind of like just like oh you didn't you couldn't find a creative way to get out of it yeah it's just like you oh, couldn't it's solve a problem you just kind of said huh let me just wish them away it's like oh uh, you couldn't solve a problem but a bomb blew up and they somehow got away you know it yeah like the part in the movie where it's like oh yeah you guys are gonna walk the plane because you're stowaways dinner belt Dinner break. Let's go, guys. That that, that that part is like okay. You could really, guys. You guys couldn't really think up of a way. I uh, couldn't really talk themselves out of it. It's like, come on, guys. I I think one of the main things is just the villains defeated themselves a lot of the time by not taking precautions, and they just kind of said, you know what? You could you hero you, for you. Here's some plot development. Yeah, like there's a part, like there's parts where like Tempest they go into like this, like they'll okay, like they'll ask like okay, where are the ponies? And it'll be like instead of just over like over there, oh, over there. <laughs> it's like instead of being like, it, like there's a part where they go on the ship and they ask the pirates like, oh yeah, I we know you have ponies on your ship because we saw a giant rainbow behind your ship. But it's like where are the ponies? We know they're here. And it's like if you don't tell me where they are in three seconds, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna blow you up. And it's just like three, two. One is like you really just couldn't look around the ship yourself. Don't she don't counts like a second every like ten seconds. It's like three. You, you get the you get the gist right. Two. But it's no. stop. <laughs> but it's more just like you better not say one Mario Kart man. Uh, but uh, <laughs> that's just his name now, Mario Kart man. <laughs> Thank you. You can call me that. Uh, so anyway, uh, yeah, it's just like. I don't know, I guess it's just used to prove the plot. But anyway, um... Conclusion? Anything else? Super uh, Ouija Wheels? Uh, I'd say we conclude. Yeah, we conclude now. Uh, alright, uh... Oh, rated out of 10. Alright, yeah, 10 rating. Alright, rated out of 10. Um, I will give this movie a 7.5 out of 10. Uh, go see in theaters if you want. Um, it's not a must-see, but I mean... If you've seen it, and if, wait. <laughs> if you've seen it, you'll really like no, this movie. Yeah. No, <laughs> <laughs> ah, no, my Mario hat, please, no. But if you've seen every other, okay, if you just want to see another movie and you don't mind, I don't know, I'm a bit <laughs> got nothing to do. Yeah, you got nothing. The, the Mario, the Mario Odyssey demo, not giving you any luck. Yeah. My little pony. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you, you got, you don't you got anything else to do. You don't have anything else to do. You just bored. You go watch the movie. Uh, bring some friends along. It'll make it'll make it'll make your your viewing experience a lot funnier. Uh, it's pretty much on the course of every movie, I guess. But like, bring some friends along with you if you want to see it. Uh, it's not terrible, but I mean, it is a kids' movie, so you're gonna have to take yeah. that precaution. So I give so this a seven point five. All right, what would you give me, Mario? Mario Kart Man. All right. <laughs> Thank you, cuckoo -coo person. Thank you, Super Ouija Bros. Um. From a scale of 1 to 10, I would give it, uh, I'll give it a 7. This lucky 7. 7 yep. out of 10? Yep, 7 out of 10. Seven. What about I, you, Pew Pew person? I'd give it, I'd give it a 7.5 out of 10. Explanation, please, Pew Pew? Um, I don't, I don't know, I just, there was parts that could have been better, but for the most part, it was pretty good. And I if there's one thing you can say, say about this movie, it was yeah, better than the Emoji movie. movie. That's a fact. Anything, but freaking Super Mario movies better be more than the movie. Yep, and, and that's shout it. out to those two bronies, Sean and Nathan. Yeah. Yeah, they're, they, 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 yeah, they, they made that movie for me. All right. That was fun. That was, that was, yeah, all right. that was good. 
Well, I guess we that's can it. call that a wrap. Call that a wrap. What else we do at the end of this? Uh, oh, do the outro. Do the outro. I only have an outro coming. Adios. Nah, Adios. On, this I, is I, Mario Kart Boy Mario fan Kart. finding <laughs> Mario Kart Boy. <laughs> this is Mario Kart mysterious Friend. person signing out. This is Yo, signing out. Yo, is, is this two? Is this 2014 YouTube? We don't say that anymore. Well, uh, this is when it comes out on for the Nintendo Switch, PC, Xbox One, and PS4 on November 7th. Go buy Mario Odyssey. Go buy a Nintendo. Go, go away. All right, go do something else. Yeah. Something. Why are you here? No. Watch more of my videos. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Subscribe. Subscribe. Um, like. Share. Uh, Favorite this video. Uh, comment. My man, this is in 2005. What you want about? Retweet this video. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> <laughs> no. Put a funny meme caption. Put. No. Lamau, smiley face. Smiley face. No. I'm dead. No. <laughs> You're making this worse than it already is, freak. Caption this. Who did this? It better be longer than the emoji movie video. You bet. How long is my emoji movie video? To be honest. Uh, I'm still doing this. Shut up. How They're long tired. They're tired. They're already going home. Long. Shut up. How long is my book? No, it's, it's 32 minutes long. It's almost night. It's, al it's almost 9 o'clock. It's still almost <laughs> night. Oh. It's almost 9 o'clock. Night still of the first day. Oh my god, I still Stop. see the sun going down. What you don't? <laughs> Boy, what you on about? 15. 16. 15. Minutes. <laughs> 15. 16. 16. <laughs> yeah, my first emoji movie video was like 32 minutes. Yeah, I told you. And this is 40 minutes. All right. Thank oh wow. You. Okay, that's. Well, I think that's a little bit. We've too done much the outro now yep. for about five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> this is the longest outro. Are we done? Are, are turn it off. Good night, Seattle. I love you.